What up, YouTube? What it do? It's your boy, the Golden Child. Um, you guys, I've just like found out some bad news. Um, real bad news. Like, I'm not gonna get into too many details, but someone that's really close to me passed away, and it hurts a lot. Um, actually, this person, this girl is the very first person that I ever kissed. Uh, we were at Hunters Woods Elementary School um, at recess. Um, and we kind of been on and off ever since, really, to tell you the truth. But, um, uh, uh, yeah, so I'm really down and sad about that. But I also wanted to make a video about, like, um, we have the wrong idea of what success is. Um, and when I say we, I mean people that look like me. That's how I'm going to say it. But um, we have the wrong idea of what success is, you know? Um, cars and clothes and stuff like that, shoes, that's all, like, good, fine, and dandy. There's nothing wrong with having nice things. But in my head, that's not success. Um, to me, success is sobriety. Um, knowing that I would never drink or smoke ever again, that's success to me. Um, being consistent in the gym and being addicted to like a life of fitness and a healthy lifestyle, that's success to me. Um, uh, giving my life to the Lord, that's success to me. Bringing people to the Lord is success to me. Um, helping people get into a lifestyle of fitness, that's my definition of success. Um, helping people get clean and sober, that's my definition of success. Um, people got to realize that I got, I'm 19 months sober and two years clean and, um, well really 19 months cause alcohol is a drug. So I'm just going to say 19 months. Um, and I've done this all over a pandemic and during lockdowns. So social media was like my outlet, you know, just having fun on social media. I still do that to this day because I'm sober. I don't drink. I don't smoke. Everybody that I know is into partying and I'm not into that. So I just have fun on social media. But the, the, thing, the thing is, though, um, like people can, don't know how to uh, separate the two, real life and social media. You know, for the most part, social media is my real life. The numbers are there. I am doing those numbers. It's clear. You know, uh, I put on as much muscle as I put on. Um, everything that I do is real. It's clear. But um, I had somebody tell me, uh, somebody that looks like me tell me, you have all this gold, but you don't have a car. And I, and I, and immediately in my head, I'm thinking, that doesn't even make any sense. Like, we don't know the difference between an asset and a liability. A car is a liability. I work right around the corner from where I live. I can walk to my job in five minutes. To get to my gym, it's free. The bus is free to go to my gym. Um, not saying I'm not going to get a car, but uh, I just got a I just got a driver's permit last week, so I have to wait six days to get my regular driver's license. But with that being said, when I do get my car, I'm still not going to drive it unless I absolutely have to, unless I have to go to a gig, or unless I'm traveling somewhere. Um, you have people, you have millionaires that ride the bike, that ride a bike to work. Black people are so backwards. You know what I'm saying? Gold appreciates. Vehicles depreciate. A vehicle is a liability. You got to pay for gas. The gas prices are going through the roof. That's not my idea of success. A car is just another bill, another headache. When I do get one in a couple of months when my, when my um, permit is over, I'm not going to drive it only when I have to. And if my friend, one of my friends asked me for a ride, I'm not going to be charging them no gas money. I think that we're so silly, bro. Like our culture is so silly and so backwards. People are out here dying left and right. We're dying, going to prison every single day at an alarming rate. And you got people worried about what people post on the Internet, not actually realizing what people are going through in real life. The money that I touch is the money that I touch. The food that I eat is the food that I eat. The whip that I'm pushing is the whip that I'm pushing. The numbers are there. My YouTube is at 800 subscribers. 
I'm getting close to 8,000 views. I am actually 300 pounds brolic. But you got people worrying about who's posting what or who doing what. It's foolish. I'm just trying to reach people and help people overcome what I overcame. You know what I mean? It's just a whole bunch of foolish nonsense to me. Whole bunch of foolish nonsense, yo. We got to check ourselves and what our definition of success is. I know one thing. I know I'm not going to be an overdose victim. I know that. I know I'm not going to be a victim of alcoholism that I cause. I know that my kids don't have to worry about me going to jail or me doing nothing stupid on drugs or alcohol. That is my definition of success. Being a father to my kids is my definition of success. I have people come at me talking about you, you doing this, you doing that, and blah, 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 but you don't even take care of your kids. Even in my worst alcohol and drug days, I was a father to my children, but I wasn't a good influence, and that's why I changed. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. We got people worrying about who doing what or who posted what on the internet when they need to be worrying about their selves. And their family. The numbers are there. What I'm about, the numbers are there. The actual numbers are there. It's been years since I've done drugs. It's going on years since I drunk alcohol, smoked a cigarette. It's been years since I've been consistent in the gym. I'm all about reaching and touching people and helping people. That's my definition of success. That's all I wanted to say. Have a good night, you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.